IP addresses connect our world. Anything which you connect to your IP network or the internet needs its own IP address. The current system for IP addresses is called Internet Protocol version 4, or IPv4 for short. But current IPv4 is close to saturation. The authorities have already allocated all of the available IPv4 addresses. They can't add or create more addresses. ISPs can only use what they already have. NAT helped to bridge the gap. Thanks to NAT, we didn't run out of IP addresses earlier. NAT shares a single internet address between many devices on the same network. However, NAT can cause problems with modern multimedia, P2P and hosting applications because your device is not visible to the outside world. Methods such as port forwarding can help, but it's far from ideal. IPv6 will help to solve all these problems and make port forwarding a thing of the past. The current 32-bit IPv4 address system gives us approximately 4 billion addresses. Now that might sound like a lot, but IPv6 uses 128 bits. 2 to the power of 128 is a very big number. IPv6 gives us access to approximately 340 trillion, trillion, trillion addresses. Now every home and office can have billions of IP addresses instead of just the one. Every single device connected to the internet can now have its own IP address. There are many things that make IPv6 great. Multiple large subnets for every customer or network. No NAT address sharing. No fragmentation. Simplified headers. Built-in mobility. Stateless auto configuration. Improved multicast and built-in IPsec. In IPv4, a device will normally get its IP, gateway and DNS settings using DHCP. In IPv6, a client can use stateless auto configuration. It receives advertisement messages from the LAN and then builds its own IPv6 profile and chooses its own IP address. Fragmentation occurs on the internet when a packet is too large to cross a route. This is inefficient and problematic. In IPv6, fragmentation is avoided as devices avoid oversized packets. Every block of data requires a packet header. As IPv6 uses shorter headers, less data has to be sent. Another great thing that IPv6 offers is built-in mobility. A mobile device can keep its same IPv6 home address wherever it is, anywhere around the world. IP multicast is the most efficient method for sending the same data to multiple devices and is improved in IPv6. Broadcast is not used. IPsec is an encryption and authentication method. It can be optionally added to IPv4, but IPsec is built into IPv6 as standard, making deployment far easier. So IPv6 is a necessity, but it can't be rolled out and switched to overnight. As well as hardware, ISPs and web service providers will need to support it. IPv4 will be needed until every internet connected device supports IPv6. But until then, IPv4 and IPv6 can run in parallel. IPv6 builds upon the success of IPv4 and primarily overcomes the shortage of IP address space. Complete migration to full IPv6 will take years there will probably be some IPv4 services running in 20 years' time. To find out more about Draytek products with IPv6, visit our website at www.draytek.co.uk. If you want to learn more about IPv6, including all of the concepts touched upon in this video, we've published an ebook called Real World IPv6, which is available on Amazon Kindle, Apple iBooks and most other ebook platforms. Find out more at 
www.dratech.co.uk forward slash IPv6.